Welcome back to Applied Stuff. My name is Lilia, and this is the place where ideas meet practical application. If you are here, it means you are not satisfied with using ChatGPT like just another search engine. You want precision. You want control. You want results that don't make you stop mid-sentence and think, wait, did it just make that up? Well, in this case, let me tell you something. You're in the right place. This is episode 2 of the Applied Artificial Intelligence Mastering ChatGPT playlist. In our last episode, we talked about the art of prompt engineering and how to craft prompts so clear and well-designed that the artificial intelligence practically hands you exactly what you need on a silver platter. But here's the thing. Even the best prompt in the world can crumble if you don't know how to manage context and memory. And trust me, nothing will derail your productivity faster than a chatbot losing the plot halfway through a conversation. So why is context so important? Imagine you're explaining a complex project to a colleague and every five minutes they forget the main objective. You would spend more time repeating yourself than actually moving forward. ChatGPT can be exactly like that. Well, it doesn't remember like a human does. Instead, it only works with what's currently visible in the conversation, like looking through a small window. If the detail isn't in view, it might as well not exist. Now, here's the good news. You can work with this limitation and turn it into a strength. Think of yourself as the director of a play. You control the script, the scenes, and which character gets the spotlight. You decide what stays in the frame and when to reintroduce important information. One of the best techniques for this is what I call summarize, clarify, and continue. It's simple but powerful. You pause the conversation, ask ChatGPT to summarize what's understood so far, check if it's right, and then carry on. It's like checking your compass before hiking deeper into the woods. Here's a real-world example. Let's say you are building a product launch strategy. You spend the last 10 minutes talking about your target audience, your pricing model, and your ad channels. And before moving forward, you say, let's recap. Can you summarize the launch strategy so far, including the audience profile, the pricing plan, and the marketing channels we've agreed on? ChatGPT then gives you a neat recap. If something is off, maybe it mixed up the target age group or the budget, you will fix it right there. That way the next steps are built on a solid foundation. And this is not just for big projects. I once helped a small coffee bar owner create a social media calendar with ChatGPT. We started with their brand voice, their top selling items, and their promotions. Every few steps we would have the artificial intelligence summarize where we were so it didn't suddenly start suggesting sushi specials for a coffee bar that only sells pastries. Now, let's talk about the other side of the coin. I'm referring to hallucinations. If you ever heard ChatGPT confidently tell you something that sounds right, but is completely wrong, congratulations, you've experienced a hallucination. Most of the time, this happens when the artificial intelligence doesn't have enough context and tries to fill in the gaps with something that sounds plausible. By managing context well, you dramatically cut down on this moment. One way to do this is through precision context injection. That's a fancy way of saying give ChatGPT only the exact information it needs right when it needs it. If you're creating a training manual, don't dump the entire document into the chat all at once. Start with the basics. This manual is for beginner customer service reps. Then, when you get to the troubleshooting section, you add in the relevant policies, scripts, and examples. It's like seasoning food. Add it at the right moment for the best flavor. Let me give you another applied business example. I worked once with a startup founder who wanted ChatGPT to draft investor pitch decks. At first, they were pasting all their notes into one huge prompt. And the result? A messy and unfocused pitch. And once we switched to feeding the artificial intelligence one section at a time, one problem at a time, such as, let's say, vision, problem, solution, market size, and recapping between each, the output became razor sharp. Investors commented on how clear and consistent the message was, and that is the power of controlled context. Sometimes the best move is to reset the conversation entirely. I know, it feels like stopping a Netflix series halfway and starting again, but if the thread has gone too far off track, a fresh start with a clean summary can save you from hours of frustration. For example, in project management, if your chat has drifted after 20 different side discussions, you can open a new chat and paste in. We are managing project X. The goal is to launch in October. The team has five members. The current phase is prototype tasting. The main challenge is supplier delays. Now I need your help to create a contingency plan. And boom, the artificial intelligence is back in the zone. 
The takeaway is simple. Don't let ChatGPT wander off into the weeds. Summarize often, clarify when needed, and continue with a strong sense of direction. Inject details precisely when they matter, and don't hesitate to hit the reset button when you need a clean slate. In episode 3, we will take this one step further and turn ChatGPT into your daily assistant, without it becoming a needy, high-maintenance robot. That's it for episode 2. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I wish you the best of luck with maximizing the use of ChatGPT. Stay tuned for the next episode, and until next time, remember, think deeper and act smarter.